So we got 2014 Cherokee uh, KL body. Uh, so trying to get the uh, whole assembly out of the uh, fuel door here. Uh, the electronic one, and you push the button inside and the door flips open. Uh, cold climates, it doesn't do that. Plus it's just a jank design anyways. Uh, to get it out, you know, there's just uh, a couple of little uh, clips up top. Um, there's good access there if you take your uh, wheel well out up to it so um, you know I had those uh, presses out but I couldn't get it to go anymore uh, this goes as your fuel for the fill uh, it's got one bolt down here I did have loose it's a little loose now um, and that kind of drops that uh, you know, down a little bit just to help wiggle it out of the center there. So, but even doing all that, it just would not come out. Uh, it's just, you know, just couldn't fight it out. It's got that big cavity in the back that wraps around. So, um, it, this almost looks like it's flush, um, like one piece. But I noticed the little clips on the top. So, uh, once we push those down, this just popped right out basically. And of course I just slid it through the back and this is that cable, that you know, emergency cable in case it won't open. Uh, it doesn't matter when it's frozen shut, it ain't opening no matter what you do. So uh, it's just a crap design for cold climates. So I'm replacing that door today um, and I'm just going to leave this assembly out. Um, you know, I'm going to secure everything back up. I'll uh, take this up, plug. Fighting, you know, just cover that up and uh, yeah, you know, insulate up in here a little bit just for some additional uh, sound deadening. But there's a pretty clear shot down uh, from where we look below. So, yeah, you know, just a couple little clips. These, these basically probably already popped off for you. I mean, there's barely anything holding that in uh, outside of this, preventing it from coming out. So, uh, is what it is. Uh, I couldn't find anything online, so I just threw this quick video up. Apologize for the music. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's your little tidbit. Get this out, and the rest of it will come right out. And the door just disassembles and whatnot. Uh, you know, took it off and whatnot. So, that's that. We're putting the MSC fuel door on. So, pretty close to that. I'll just give you a quick shot. I put some. Hardware in there that, you know, upgraded that, but, uh, yeah. And, of course, it's manual now, so uh, we don't have to worry about it freezing shut. Good go. Thanks, folks.